morning guys, I'm back out this morning. I'm gonna be chasing mangrove jack with lures. The winds just got up, there's like a 15, 20 knot southerly. It's actually cold. It's so sad, the season's changing I reckon. Um, pretty psyched though, because I've got some top water gear in. I'm gonna be throwing one, a mix um, new big splash prawns that are coming. So I'll be throwing that early, uh, maybe a G splash as well, in and around some heavy cover. What else have I got in? got a new setup in that I want to throw and try out around the pontoons check this thing out boom on fluorocarbon heavy fluorocarbon right through so I'm going to give that a go and talk you through uh, the pros and cons of some of that got some plastics in and some diving lures I'm frothing to get into it I've got about two hours on the water so uh, we've got a run out tide I'll show you the conditions this morning on my phone so you can get a picture of what's happening. These bats are just insane this morning, eh? Hey? Look. Uh, so we had rain predicted this morning. Where are we? Partly cloudy, medium chance of showers. The radar this morning, I looked at it, doesn't look awesome but it's not quite heavy enough. There's just some cloud cover and some sprinkling stuff coming over. And we use Willy Weather to check all the tides and winds and stuff. So you can see the wind, it's coming. South, southwesterly, and the tide in here. We're on the run out. So there's lots of water movement in here at the moment. So the time is now to get out and start hitting it. And the sun's not quite over the horizon yet, so uh, top water's the way I'm gonna start and then get into some diving lures and uh, some plastics. Let's get into it. little jack he's like that. <laughs> full colored up eh? like hectic angry full bars all the white bars down the side frothing five times he wanted it Got it. Yes, that is insane, and I'm gonna find it real soft. It's a brim this time. Oh man, it's not the jack that I started after, but it's one of his mates. They're all in there. So sick. There you go, buddy. Take a look at this. These bigger splash prawns, when they hit the market, you gotta make sure you get your hands on one of these things. There's a jack first and then a brim. And uh, the way that I was working it, to get that bite, once they hit it, even the jack was coming back at again and again. I was like spitting it out the front with a little collar. And then once they've honed in on it, it's just a real slow wind and you just get this, this little cruisy move going with this thing and they just keep coming back. Sick. Let's keep going. Tiny water, eh? Tiny water. Just tidy the lens up a little bit. It's like five metres across in here. Super quiet. Just ducked out of the wind because I was like, oh, I don't know about a little prawn on surface first thing in the morning when it's super windy. I'd rather go with yeah, probably like a G splash in the real windy stuff, because it's just got more presence, bigger pop. But in the quiet stuff, this thing is a killer.
sun's up now and it's peaking over these houses so this top water bite's going to slow on this edge I reckon. The wind's up too so I'm going to try and tuck out of it, go around some bends up a bit further and fish some tighter water. Maybe try some diving lures or something. Right, I've come up a little bit further into the creek now and trying to tuck out of the wind. There's some awesome structure through this creek. I just love this place. So some natural stuff. There's some pontoons that I'm going to try as well. And um, hopefully get a mangrove jack this morning. I'm on the board. I got me a little brim. I'm on the board. But uh, the jack's the thing that I'm after. I'm going to throw everything at them, whatever it takes this morning. All right, get into it. saw that that was a massive jack just come up and bust me on the way up I was hurrying to get it out of the water oh my god yep there it is oh! Oh. yep there it is oh! so long for that moment all morning eh I've been chucking these top water lures I changed because the sun's up I went to a little Z-man on a snake locks and about five casts in missed the jack threw it straight back in and you get half a second of just craziness not long enough to get me out. Oh, that's so devastating. You just get left with the spider web of braid, eh? <sighs> Big jack sitting on that log. <sighs> Not my join. He's like fully just ripped me straight around the structure and snapped it. You can see it's like frayed on the end. Oh, that hurts. So good though. So good. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna have a little sulk for a second and get back in there. Get these get these knots out. Oh that is insane. Just spent the last 10 minutes trying to get that tangle out. Maybe because I'm being a little bit stubborn. Should have just cut and retied it if I'm honest. But um, kind of just wallowed in the sting of that. And 
it is. It's part of jack fishing that you, you're not going to get them all in. Some of them are going to just wreck you and take everything. But yeah, I just wanted to share share the moment afterwards, like the pain, the hurt of just missing these fish and getting everything stolen from you after you worked so hard, like all morning, all the prep, late night last night, getting everything ready so I could come out and flick these lures. Just the mind games that go on when you you're deciding what to do, whether you go in and fish the pontoons, chase those bigger fish, or keep pushing on for another 10 minutes just to get to, um, to fish a bridge. But what happens is, that log, I fished that log probably 30 times, because it looks so good, never had a hit. And then that happens, and now I'm stuck forever. I will have to fish that log every single time I come and fish Karumba now. It's the pain of jack fishing and the pain of the snap. You're just never quite satisfied until, if I would have brought that fish in, would have been fine, it would have been okay. Next time I'm out here, I'll fish a different section of the creek, try something else, but now I'm stuck. Until I get a jack off that log, I'm gonna have to hit it every time. Oh man, God, it hurts. This is the rig that, that um, got it done. Oh, what do you know? Z-Man's. All stuck together. And then, that's my frustration coming out. <laughs> it was a little red shad, like a four inch Z-Man red shad on a little snake locks. And I had like a three eighth ounce head, but I'm gonna try a little bit lighter just because it's got fairly shallow now, the tide's on the way out, so I'll be able to just skip this one in a little bit deeper into the cover and then I'll just bring it in with a slower retrieve. So I'm gonna get back up there, keep hitting it, but uh, man, it stings. And I'm sort of running out of time now. I'll have to get, have to get in soon, but I'll get it up to that bridge and maybe get one more shot at a fish. Oh, it just hurts so bad. The grind of jack fishing. But if you haven't done it, if you haven't chased jack yet, you've got to do it. You've got to try it. As much heartache as it brings and as much time consuming as it is, you have to give it to yourself and punish yourself until you get, get one and experience the whole scene. It's nuts. There is nothing like that moment that you get where it all just comes together and then falls apart <laughs> or comes together and you get it in the boat that's why everyone celebrates it i suppose all right that's the rig let's roll one more chance i reckon if i'm lucky That's going to have to do me for this morning, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and it keeps you watching these videos. There's heaps more coming. I'll get out of my ski as soon as this weather changes and I'm desperate to get out in the kayak a bit more. So I'll be doing that as well. Plenty more jack fishing stuff too. So uh, keep watching and I'll keep making these videos. I'll see you in the next one.